What's up, Achievers? Variant Achievers, that is. I am one oh, of the Elijah variants. From oh, universe this is, this, this 30, is not thirty. Thor. What? Oh, oh, this is not. This is not the Thor one. This. Oh, no, oh, this is on. not. That's next week. Thor is next week, Alex. Got it. He doesn't read emails. Um. So this is the. This is one of the universes that I got a mask, and Alex has me on the air. So that's really the only difference, though. Everything else is the exact same. Welcome to a Loki spoiler cast. We don't often do spoiler casts for TV shows or movies, but. Whenever we both have something of an interest, we like to talk about it on the show. Yeah, because more mostly, and, normally I'm the TV show, TV guy, you mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. And honestly, get a peek behind the mirror, similar to the Wizard of Oz, which they reference that a lot in the show. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It's some of our best performing episodes is spoiler cast, so we always try to do it because we know that the achievers love it. Yep, you guys enjoy it. Alex, mm. Loki, was this something? Well, first off, again, spoiler cast, so we're going to start spoiling it, but first, Alex, Loki, mm-hmm. yeah. was this something you were looking forward to? Um, yes. Did you have an idea of what the show was? I was very, I had no idea, so I, I didn't really I even know what we were getting. I had no idea what the show's going to be, because, mm-hmm. I mean, as if I'm assuming, everybody knows, you know, Endgame, Infinity War yeah. situations, you know, it's, uh, he was dead, Yeah, but they're they were like, oh, we're going to... Yeah, yeah, literally, and they were like, "Oh, yeah, no, he's coming back," and we're like, "All right, how?" So when Endgame came out, we show we saw him, you know, figured out how, yeah, yeah. So, but I did not know this was going where it was going, and I it really enjoyed it. Yeah, so I'm I'm a big Marvel Comics mm. guy. I didn't know the TVA for whatever reason. I just did not think that was going to be a thing in the mm. uh, in the universe. But they very much were like, "Yeah, no, the TVA captures them." Episode one, very beginning. They give it mm-hmm. episode one, titled "Glorious Purpose." These are all directed, of course, by Kate Heron. She is um, the main director. This was written by Michael Waldron. Uh, basically, the synopsis is Loki is arrested by time variants when he creates a new timeline after escaping the New York with the Tesseract in 2012. TVA resets the timeline, and they are now calling him this variant Loki. Stands trial in front of the, the judge, Ravona uh, Renslayer, for crimes against the sacred timeline. This is our first time we hear this. Uh, Loki blames the Avengers, who had traveled back in time to 2012. Renslayer says their actions were meant to happen, unlike Loki's escape. Agent Mobius M. Mobius takes Loki to the Time Theater to review his past misdeeds and question his history of hurting people. He reveals that Loki and his intended... Uh, future inadvertently causes the death of his adopted mother Frigga. By the way, that was super messed up that he just is like, "Hey, watch your mom die in front of you." <laughs> and then Loki attempts yeah. to escape, but gives up after realizing that the TVA power exceeds that of the Infinity Stones. He returns to the Time Theater and watches more future events, including his own death by the hands of Thanos. He then agrees to help Mobius hunt another Loki variant who has killed several TVA agents and stolen their timeline resetting charges. There's a little thread of episode one. I, I I'll be honest, I was I was hook line and secret first episode. I was in. Oh, I for was sure. in. I was in. So, as soon as that first episode, I was like, oh, this is incredible TV already. I loved what they did with, although happened a little fast. I did mm. not mind it in the end because we got this. Yeah. the The whole question of this is Loki without all the development from the movies. But then we kind of get a similar Loki by the end of this episode. Not quite. For sure. Not quite. It's just a, a, they're two different routes, but coming out to technically being technically the same the outcome. Same kind of uh, Loki, in my opinion. Yeah, no, um, for sure. And by the way, Tom Hiddleston, he's Loki. He, similar oh. to Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. Yeah. He's, he's Loki. He, no, he yeah, nails it sure. every time. Yeah, no, for sure. They he even said um, if he had the opportunity to, he would play, play Loki forever. For, forever. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Um, yeah. What did you think of? Some people were a little upset about the Infinity Stone thing. What did you think? Oh, so guy goes, yeah. Some people use some paperweights. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, and I was like, literally, they're just sitting here. So, but I assume they they don't work in the TVA. Yeah. So the way I understood it is, they're not in their universe, so they don't work. Is how I understood it. 
They're not mm-hmm. in it because, like, you know, there's there's multiple of the same ones. The yeah, way I took it, it, oh, it, so it's saying that Infinity Stones can only work in its in its specific universe, right? Yeah. Well, so if it's taken out of that universe to a different universe, or let's say a Thanos from a different universe comes with his Infinity Gauntlet, and he can't use it. I don't he think he can use any of them. He can't. He, is, yeah, he can't use it because he's in a different one. Yeah, that's yeah. how I understood it. it Comment just below dead. if that's incorrect. But I, I think he. <laughs> If you go to use it, nothing happens. Clearly, he picks yeah. it up and like looks at it. He's like, it's, it like it just does nothing. Trucks. Yeah. There's, so I kind I I was indifferent. I was like, cool. That gets Infinity Stones out of the conversation, out of the way. Yeah. Because again, like one of the problems with comics is we always have the big thing still always active, mm-hmm. and this is a good way of being like, we're not doing it. You know, they're dead. We're not doing yeah, it here. They, yeah. Like, like yep. I know this thing can be fixed with this Infinity Stone. Well, they didn't work now. So yeah, it was yeah. an easy way of getting rid of them. Yeah, that was very interesting on that one. Yeah, I, I liked it. Like, oh, I, snap, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a lot. It was like, yeah. So it was like at least three sets of Infinity Stones. Yeah. I, well, and I did like the time theater where he watches his own death. And um, mm-hmm. the mother one was even more touching. Um, yeah. I like when we see Loki... Um, uh, emotional uh, i yeah, feel like no, tom sure. hiddleston really gets to show off his actor job mm-hmm. he always sells me immediately yep episode two the variant uh written by Alyssa karasik interesting loki joins a tva mission um to the site of an attack uh by the variant in 1985 oshkosh wisconsin where he stalls and attempts to bargain his way into meeting the timekeepers who did tva claims created them and the sacred timeline renslayer objects uh to loki's further involvement but mobius convinces her to give him another chance loki researches tv files and theorizes that the variant is hiding near apocalyptic events where the actions do not affect the timeline loki and mobius confirm this possibility by visiting pompeii in 79 ad before deducing that the variant is hiding during a hurricane in 2050 alabama there, they are ambushed by the variant who enchants several locals and TVA agent Hunter B-15. The variant reveals herself to be a female version of Loki and rejects his offer to overthrow the timekeepers together. She sends the stolen research charges to various points along the sacred timeline, which activate and create numerous branch timelines that throw the TVA into disarray. She teleports away and Loki follows her. Another great episode. Look, so I, I, as soon as they said it was a variant, I knew it was going to be Loki. I wasn't expecting it to be a female Loki. My, I did not. My wife had the fortune teller on her side. She called it episode one. She was like, I wonder if it's going to be Lady Loki. And I was like, oh. now, yeah, it, it, it's cool. Because as soon as they showed the girl, I was like, oh, this is Lady Loki. Yeah. But it's weird because in the comics where I at least what I've seen mm-hmm. or like where I've read I think before, I know what you're going to say, but go ahead. Loki gave her powers right or gave her, her her powers to become a loki i don't know if that's correct though like she got she, she winded up being she winded up getting like becoming a a, a, a god of mischief fr- uh, through loki like loki was the one who I gave see. her her powers i don't remember it was a long time ago when i read about this i mm-hmm. all, all i put pull, pulled away from this specifically was this was a combination of like two characters being mm. Enchantress, which is what I thought would yeah. be one of the villains eventually in the Thor movies. Looks like they combined Enchantress, which is a big Thor villain, with Lady Loki's character and made it one person, where she's able to kind of enchant people into working for her and stuff. Yeah. I loved the... First off, we got another excuse to put um, uh, Mr. Owen Wilson into Pompeii. I'll take that. Another mm, 90s reference. Yeah. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. it. <laughs> um very uh very sad he didn't say wow very sad mm-hmm. he didn't say wow he did say how kind of like it i don't like it so that was a little kind of kind of what we got a little oh with some how uh this episode was one of the setup episodes i think not one of the stronger ones but it's necessary to set up the majority of the series i loved the uh like i said pompeii i liked loki mm-hmm. kind of deducing with mobius I feel like we got, we, and, you know, they only have six episodes, but, but we skipped them being friends. Cause not, cause like we start this episode and they're kind of friends already. Cause it seems like they've been hanging out and doing stuff together for a while. 
and they're just now friends and i'm like okay i wish i could yeah. have seen something that told me like mm -hmm. they're bonding but yeah. whatever i don't really care um and then they he kind of references like hey can i read about like timekeeper before times and, or, or after the time and they're like no it's classified so we get a little hint out he's trying to figure out what's up with the timekeepers um and then we get classic loki when he's like yeah i just want to kill the timekeepers and take the throne to when he meets lady loki mm. and uh, uh we get all that what do you think of this episode I mean, dude, uh, I, I, I didn't know, what, like, what, like every the whole time I was just like, oh, this is happening. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Like, I enjoyed after we we got um, uh, Sylvie. Right. Uh, I mean, just I enjoyed like their chemistry already. Yeah, yeah. In only that brief, like, I, I think it was ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I, that setup was immediate and the again acting was incredible between yeah. those two it, it i was immediately so like oh this is gonna be cool i did not see the ending with him going through the portal i thought we were still gonna have mobius stuff chasing him and stuff but when he left through the portal i was like yes that is what i want yep. i want them hanging out i want them doing yep. stuff i don't yeah, want dude, I, I want this was, oh yep yep thank god episode three Lamentus. Uh, this is written by Bishop K. Ali. What? The TVA distracted. The variant arrives at their headquarters and attempts to find the timekeepers, but is followed by Loki. They are attacked by Renslayer, and Loki uses a temp pad to teleport them both to 2077 Lamentus 1, a moon that is being crushed by a planet. The temp pad runs out of power, and the variant, who goes by Sylvie, agrees to work with Loki to charge it. They sneak aboard a train bound for the Ark, an evacuation spaceship that could recharge the temp pad, but Loki gets drunk and draws attention to them. This leads to a fight with guards who throw him off the train, and Sylvie follows him, only to find the temp pad broken. The duo continue on foot, intending to uh, commandeer the Ark. The escape of Form Lensis 1 is destroyed. On the way, Sylvie reveals that the TVA workers are actually variants of people from Earth. Loki and Sylvie fight their way through guards and a crowd of people attempting the board arc, but meteors from the oncoming planet destroy it before they can board. And Alex, interrupt me anytime when you want to talk about something. But from this specific thing, my favorite part, as soon as they board that train, had a great time. Mm -hmm. Had a great oh, time. Dude. She, oh, dude. She, I like, love the train. nods away asleep. You wake it up. He's singing about Asgard and, like, dancing with mm -hmm. people. I another. Like, yeah. Yeah, he did another thing. I loved that. It's an normal. Asgardian thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved that. I was, I was having so much fun when we got. I was like, this is so cool. And then I, they had to I fight liked, the guards. I like that it was a little thing. Um, It's a little, t uh, I don't know if it's a big thing, but, I, I, like, I noticed it. In I forget which episode it was. It was either one or two. Loki was asleep, and uh, he uh, he fell asleep in front of Mobius. It's a meaning like you know he actually like kind of trusts him, you know, oh, to, yeah. to fall asleep. I see that. And then Sylvie just did the same thing to like she fell asleep yeah. in front of them, kind of to where like oh there's a trust, there's trust, a trust yeah. becoming there. So I was like oh I kind of enjoy the the similarity. Yeah, they they definitely had a. It was building to a trust, but they had like a, almost like a, I need you and you need me kind of thing going yeah. out there. Because he had the temp pad hidden away somewhere, he, but he doesn't mm -hmm. know how to use it, so he needs her to use it and all that stuff. So I really like that dynamic. Um, I don't know if you have an issue with this. With this. I do kind of. Um, they're a little inconsistent with the powers of, like, how, like they keep saying they're gods, yeah. but... Regular people are fighting them. Is, does that bother you? I, I know I know we can't have literal gods fighting stuff because after a while it gets boring when you see them beat someone to death like super easily. So you do have to, to have fair, some though, conflict, but like we we don't know that they are regular people. I mean Lamentus could be a planet with like super powered people. We don't we don't know. True it, okay. Like, I, like maybe I mean I don't know. It says twenty seventy seven, so I feel like it's not that far, but I guess that's a good point. We don't know anything. It's just Yeah. It's not even this it, it's just like it's it's when they're fighting the T V A people too. Like it just seems like they're not really well, strong. The TV, well, well with the T V A, I mean remember their powers weren't supposed to be working there. They're that's only true. like they only they only know how to yeah. they only know you're how right. to basically they fighting to, skills. You're right. You're right. That's a good point. I just there were some points where I'm like, like, are they strong? I, like, I know they have magic, 
But like, can they yeah, like, do stuff? Because they seem like they get their ass kicked a lot. <laughs> yeah, no. During yeah, no. During the in the TVA air place, they have no magic. That's true. I did, I did forget about that. Um, but remember, he the, tried to do something and it just wouldn't work. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't work. You're, no, you're right. I, I completely forgot about that. Um, loved the little uh, the, the lady in the trailer. He pretends to be his, her dead wife, and he's like, he never said a nice thing <laughs> in, in, in our whole marriage. <laughs> Shot him. That was really fun. <laughs> um yeah you got anything from this episode alex i mean i uh honestly i enjoyed the planet uh, atmosphere like i was like oh this is interesting this is very dystopian like i want to know what's happening and i mean I, we know what's I happening you elements, liked the, i want to uh, uh mm-hmm. when when the things are falling and loki like stops the tower oh, yeah, like, i remember you yeah, told me about yeah that. They're, yeah they're they're all running away they're trying to get past everything they're trying to get to the ship to the yeah. i forget what the ship is called arc but uh yeah the arc thank you but that you see like a ship, uh, like a big tower falling, like a building, and you see Loki turn around, goes like this, and he just stops the building and then pushes it back. I'm like, there you could see that he's strong as yeah, hell. He, that's true. But they don't show it. Yeah. So I was like, I just enjoyed it. It was just quick, but like you have to catch it. Like you just see, because there's so much going on. He just like, it was so cool. And then we at the end, they they kind of... Ended at a sour note. You see Ark explode, and then it just ends. Yep. They're like, and then you uh, just see Sylvie just turn around, starts walking away. Yep. And he's like, like, oh, he's yeah. like, oh no. And and yep. forgot to mention, uh, uh, Loki does show that the ten pad was broken when they were thrown off the train. I feel like he had it in his back pocket the whole time, just invisible. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's classic Loki. He's like, like he makes it disappear. It he's like, it's gone. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's in, in his back, in his back pocket, pocket, but that's why I broke. Yeah, that's a. Cl- <laughs> I I could as soon as he, it broke out, I was like. This motherfucker put it in his back pocket and pretended like it was like a sub dimension or something. I love yeah. that. It's it's him. That's him. That's how he is. Uh, yeah. And I love it. The Nexus event written by Eric Martin. Sylvie tells Loki that she escaped from the TVA as a child. They form a romantic bond, which creates a unique branched timeline and alerts the TVA to find and arrest them before Lamentis One is destroyed. Mobius leaves Loki in a time loop of a bad memory he has of Sif, while Sylvie unlocks B one fifteen. Uh, sorry, B fifteen's memories to prove that B fifteen is a variant. Rensselaer tells Mobius that C twenty died from a mental breakdown, but Mobius finds a recording of Rensselaer interrogating a mentally sound C twenty, who insists that the TVA workers are all variants. Mobius frees Loki from the time loop, but Rensselaer confronts them and has Mobius pruned. Uh, pruning, oh. of course, is the little stick that. Uh, we don't know of now, but of course that sends them to the end of time. Rinslayer yeah. takes the time we thought that kills them. Was that at the time we thought pruning meant they, it kills them? Yes, yeah, I did. I definitely did. I was like, oh, they're dead. Um, Rinslayer takes Loki and Sylvie to the uh, timekeepers who order Loki and Sylvie to be deleted. With B15's help, Loki and Sylvie defeat Rinslayer and the timekeepers guards. Sylvie beheads one of the timekeepers, but discovers they are androids. Before a recovered Rinslayer prunes Loki. Sylvia Prize was say demands the truth. In a mid credit scene, Loki awakens surrounded by several other Loki variants. In one of my favorite end credit scenes mm-hmm. ever in Marvel period. It's him waking mm. up and looking across from him, seeing a kid Loki mm-hmm. holding an alligator with a little Loki helmet. Behind him, old Loki, clearly from classic, Loki. Cl- classic comic outfit. Yeah, it's classic Loki. And it's seemingly a Thor-ish Loki. We never yeah, really got anything about him. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, he had a hammer on so i i guess he i guess yeah yeah but th- i wish we got a little more about it I was like is he supposed to be yeah uh, and then that ends i love that was that's when i was like this show is awesome <laughs> like i was like yeah. really into the show that's that was that's one where i remember watching them like we have to watch Mm-hmm. the day it comes out now like we have to make sure we're watching these because i need to know what happens yeah that was crazy um with the variant thing, mm-hmm. when we find out the TVA is all variants, mm-hmm. how much of that was a surprise to you, and did you like the twist? I want to say I, I had, I had, I felt there was something off, but I wasn't expecting them to be variants. Right. I was expecting them, like maybe they, yeah, they were being like mind controlled, or they're actually all lying and they all knew, right. And they just, they were, they're not in another dimension. They're just, like, somewhere they know. But, like, I wasn't expecting them to be variants. Mm-hmm. So it was a little surprising. 
Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that either. Although I feel like if I had actually thought about it, I was like, no, yeah, that makes sense. Like them all being variants. I did not mm-hmm. think they were literally pulled from their lives, or, which yeah, is pretty that's fucked crazy. up when you think about it, that they mm-hmm. just took these people. I, I guess indiscriminately. I guess they just, I, I don't know if there was like a criteria, but like Maybe they seemingly took them... they just took people out of their lives. Yeah, like they didn't, I don't even, they didn't even like specify. It was like, oh, they faked their deaths or anything. They just, they just said they took them. So I was like, oh, so they I mean, didn't like, even there specify somebody... if they're all from the same time, if they're same universe. Yeah, anything. like it was super unclear at how this even works, but it's seemingly how I understand it. I, and this is just everything I just made up. I was like, maybe they, the, 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 we later find out he who, uh, the Kong, Kang, who, he who reigns, whoever you want to call him. I'm assuming he just went like snapped his fingers and a bunch of people appeared with memories of thinking mm. they've been there the whole time. Yeah. And he made he puppeted them to go do his bidding. Um uh but uh but yeah, first off, um having him stuck in a bad memory is mm. a really cool idea. I kind of liked that. Although yeah. him just repeatedly getting kicked in the nuts for seemingly hours is mm-hmm. messed up in a lot of ways though like yeah, it's it was just hilarious it, it's it was just it was hilarious it was just like ladies a lady sif just comes out of nowhere cut they had cut her hair which, which we haven't seen since dark world dark world i'm pretty sure and that was the same actress so i yeah, was no, like wow that's kind of cool that they got the same actress <clears throat> we haven't seen her in like like seven years probably yeah so that was kind of cool that they got the same person well, because everybody else died, like the other people died from. Uh, forget Ella. who. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ella had killed. Yeah, she them. wrecked everyone by herself. Yeah. <laughs> by herself. Yeah. Um, and then we get the twist, of course, that um, uh, B fifteen. Uh, gets uh uh. Sorry, the twist that C twenty was fine, but she was talking crazy and she was like killer. Like she was like, get, get her out of here. She's crazy, because um, mm. she she was now mentally sound enough to be like, uh, we used to like have lives, um, yeah. and also a very powerful scene with um, B fifteen taking Sylvie and going, do that to me. I yeah. was like, that's kind of cool. She was like, I can't make fake memories. I just unlock stuff, and I was like, mm-hmm. that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, when she when she was like, do do that to me then, and she does it, and she's like. Really, yeah, pow- you, again, acting. Yeah, you see the expression thank, on her face. Thank you. you. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Really great acting. I have no idea who this lady was, either of these people, Sylvie or B15. Mm-hmm. Um, I had no idea who these people are, but the the moment she's touched, you can tell mo- emotionally through her face something has changed. And mm-hmm. I was like, God, the acting, like it draw me in. I was sucked into the scene. It's so fun. Uh, again, immediately seeing that change. I I was like this is so I was like this is so cool <laughs> this is so cool, um, let's see we got the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we of course we get the the fight, um, timekeepers androids, another twist. What did you think? I I figured they weren't gonna be anything special. Uh, yeah, I I I had for some I wasn't expecting them the androids, but I was definitely thought they were gonna be fake. I I I I was either like either are gonna be I I didn't don't I don't think I thought there were androids I think I was like whatever they are they're not the people they're not the mm-hmm. they the whatever that's making all this that they're not it I didn't think yeah. they'd just be straight up robots um, yeah I didn't, yeah I was expecting which that. is a pretty gnarly scene when she just cuts its head off and it just falls mm-hmm. on the ground I was like that's pretty cool um and what's up with the what's up with the Renslayer? all this stuff and she still rocks hard with the timekeepers they well, lied to you every time. well it's she, she's the only one out of everybody that knows she was pulled from a timeline because she kept the pen from her thing <laughs> from her her timeline but it's weird because so, they when the b15 takes right. back that soldier guy the takes guy, yeah. it yeah, it takes back, I guess, to a time before she was taken. That was like 2018, and she was a principal, it seemed. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy, because, I mean, so, that's really recent. But, like, I guess because <laughs> time works different than TVA, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, the, yeah. another thing with the TVA, technically, I guess it doesn't have a timeline. It's existed outside of time. So mm-hmm. that's all. That's confusing. We're going to get to even more confusing stuff at the end. That yeah, I want to ask crazy. you because I have not gotten a solid answer from anybody uh, on what my question is. But the way you read into that, 
Mm. You think she did remember the whole time? Oh yeah. Really? I didn't think I about feel, it. I feel like she I feel like I feel like she remember well cuz when she had the pen either right. I had two like two theories either she had kept it because she was like this means something to me for some reason and I don't know why so I need to find out or she knew the whole time but now that she but she didn't know that they were fake and now she wants to know why they were fake and why she was pulled uh, that like, seems to like, be the implication at the end of the at the end of the yeah. se- season, I guess. Um, yeah, so because I think she goes, she, she, the whole she time. said she was looking for free will, whatever the fuck that means. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think, it, I didn't know. I, I feel like it's one of the things where, like, maybe she, I feel like she was the first to be taken. I mean, there's probably a reason she's ahead of everybody, right? Yeah, I, like, yeah. There's so probably I feel like a she, reason. I feel like she was the first one to be taken. Yeah, and she does um, have the line where this can't all be for nothing. Yeah. So maybe maybe she does know more. Um, I never really thought about it. Uh, yeah. So maybe she was the one who was like, "Hey, if you're gonna keep pulling people, don't keep their memories because it sucks." <laughs> maybe that's a good point. Maybe that is her like origin. Maybe she was like the first person he like tried talking to her, and she's like, "This is not working. I am yeah. fucked up. You can't do this to other people. They were they're gonna panic." And she and he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna implant memories yeah. in everyone else then." I kind of like that. It's a good, good theory. I like that. Journey into Mystery. Tom Kaufman. Written by Tom Kaufman. Renslayer tells Sylvie that when Loki was pruned, he was sent to the void at the end of time from which nothing has ever returned. They deduce that the TVA's true creator is hiding beyond the, va- uh, sorry, beyond the void. TVA mascot Miss Minutes stalls for times until TVA troopers uh, surround Sylvie, who then prunes herself and soon meets Mobius in the void. After interrogating B-15, Renslayer plans to reach the TVA's true creator. Meanwhile, the other Loki variants tell Loki that a massive cloud-like creature called... Uh, uh, Eliath. Thank you. Eliath. Thank you. I was like, I don't remember how to say this. Eliath. Yeah, there Lyoth. you go. Destroys everything in the void. After encountering a second Loki group that devolves into infighting, which I loved that scene. We'll get back to that. Classic Loki helps Loki. Alligator Loki and Kid Loki escape. They come across Mobius and Sylvie, and Mobius returns to TVA using a tent pad that Sylvie brought with her. Uh, Sylvie attempts to enchant Eliath while Loki distracts it, but they fail until classic Loki sacrifices his hope, creating an illusion of Asgard to draw uh, Eliath's attention. Loki and Sylvie successfully enchant Eliath together, and the creature shows them the way to the Citadel beyond the void. Now, a lot in this episode. A lot in this episode. We're going to start at the very beginning. So... The awesome part where Miss Minutes is like stalling for time. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. As soon as she said it, I was like, oh, this bitch. <laughs> like, oh, this bitch is mm-hmm. stalling. Um, and then it happens. She then goes out like a gangster and just bam, like just prunes herself. And I was like, she is a G. Mm-hmm. She's such she's cool. Like she didn't even know what she went. Yep. Mm. Mm. And I was like, gosh, she's so cool. Um, and uh, Easter eggs galore here, Alex. Easter oh, eggs dude. galore. Um, do you yeah. know all of them? I know, uh, is it, is it Thorg? I don't know Thorg. how you say it. Correct. Oh, yes, yeah, that was, Thorg. that was yeah. the first one I was going to pick up. So as because soon as the episode Thorg starts, with you, see, you see dirt and you see, um, uh, a frog like in, in some glass, like trying to get out, uh, which was yeah. amazing. Which was, which was, um, voiced by Chris Hemsworth yep. himself. They got him yep. to come in to do that. First off. Yeah. Second off, apparently there's more, but they couldn't uh, put in uh, scenes. They didn't have enough time. Yeah. Apparently, he yeah. did a couple more lines, but all which, they had time for was the little. Which is crazy. Like, thing. This whole series so far have powerful items just being tossed away like nothing. Like, Mjolnir is just buried in the, in the, in the ground with Thorg. Like, I, really? Mjolnir? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm assuming it's just one of <clears throat> a thousand Mjolnirs that's been there, you know? <clears throat> mm-hmm. And it's just one that hasn't been eaten yet. Um, I'll go over Easter eggs uh, before we get to the last episode. Um, so, yeah, we got, we got to the very beginning. So, first off, every, everything mm-hmm. with Lokis, mm-hmm. incredible. Ev- oh, for I'm sure. talking anytime they're on the screen, I'm enthralled. Oh, for sure. They're talking, they're walking through, they're describing like how everything happened. 
he's like he goes up to the kid loki and goes like hey what like what what did you do that's so bad and he starts making fun of him he's like thor. i actually killed thor and he's like oh fuck <laughs> like, yep which i love like everyone respects him for that so he's like the king mm-hmm. which i yep. which is hilarious mm-hmm. hilarious classic there, loki was the one who survived thanos instead of dying yeah he made a good illusion which mm-hmm. you know maybe crazy maybe that gives loki an idea or when he maybe has if, to go back to his timeline or something, who knows? If he has to go back to his timeline. Maybe he makes a good illusion. I don't know. Maybe that's yep. a setup for later. But I loved he, his in, his description of that. He's like, I made an illusion. P- perfect. And, uh, even uh, tricked the Mad Titan. And then I went yeah. and lived in isolation and went crazy. <laughs> like, it basically is what it was like. And then I lived yeah. by myself and got really sad and i started traveling and eventually I, found he him, said yeah. as soon as he left he got he got he was found like the moment yep. he walked out the tv yep. well got they, cause they, yeah because they said he they were watching him they were like oh he's left he's not touching anybody so so now that he's actually affecting and no traveling, it affects the timeline and, he imme- he has to get taken out so yep <clears throat> that was, was, he, was i was Thanos helicopter Thanos helicopter. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, uh, you know what? We're you know what? let's do the Easter eggs. The Easter eggs are fun. I want to do the Easter eggs. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the episode is called Journey in a Mystery. Uh, this is a uh, a mm-hmm. uh, uh, name of a long running Marvel comic book series that began in 1952. Um, the uh, this episode in particular was likely given that name because the episode shows Loki venturing into the unknown, um, and this series also stars um, uh, Kid Loki. Uh, you can see. Uh, oh. Queen Tower, which is also yes. like the Stark Tower, Avengers, Stark Tower, yeah. one of the things. Um, the giant smoky monster note, and this is all from IGN, by the way. IGN has a whole write-up. Eliath the Usurper is a Marvel Comics villain with ties to Kang the Conqueror, who just happens to be an upcoming MCU baddie set to appear as the villain in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium. Quantumania, yep. You see Yellowjack's helmet in a scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pointing back. Uh, Don't know if you um, noticed it, but you see the Doctor Strange's temple or the building from New York. Sanctum really? Yes, that's cool. There's a building uh, at the very, very bottom, like uh-huh. when they show the you know, the Queen's Tower or whatever. Yeah. At the very, very bottom, you see the building because you see the little round thing the that glass. he wears on his chest. Yeah, the glass. Yeah, yeah you see it. Uh, and Thanos Copter. As Loki approaches the hideout, yeah. the infamous Thanos Copter makes a brief appearance. This is a reference to the comic book Spidey Super Stories number 39 from 1979, where Spider Man and Hellcat battled Thanos, and the Mad Titan pursued the heroes in a yellow helicopter branded with his own name. It has since become a fan favorite joke that has spawned mm. memes, action figures, and now a place in MCU lore. That's hilarious. <laughs> I forgot what that was from. Oh my god, that is amazing. He's yeah, I just pictured Thanos. Can you imagine how many people you had to pay for that? Like, yeah. like there's numerous. You had to pay, pay to, someone to paint it yellow, then to wait for it to dry, then to take the time to then paint Thanos on it. That's amazing. We already mentioned it, but um, Frog Thor, and then uh, very uh, sad Mjolnir is like inches away from his little glass that he's in. Really sad. Uh, Roxa wine. As Loki swap stories in their hideout, we see they're sipping on some fine Roxy wine. The company Roxxon, an evil corporation from Marvel Comics, of course from um, Spider-Man uh, Miles Spider-Man. Morales, was featured in Episode 2 when Loki and the TVA traced Sylvie to Roxmart, fated for destruction. Perhaps Roxy wine comes from that very store. In the very distance of what it seems, you see a shield helicarrier. Ronan, the uh, accuser's ship, the Dark Aster. You see that in another thing in the very distance. The Living Tribunal. Another relic in the fields is an odd statue head bearing three faces draped in a cloth. This is a cosmic entity in the Marvel Comics known as the Living Tribunal. This is this is this is when you get weird Marvel Comics, buddy. Weird Marvel Comics. This is this is awesome stuff. A powerful being that works to maintain balance across the infinite realities of the multiverse. Vote Loki. This is of course um, uh, the Loki that comes and takes over the That's little right. base. I call him President Loki. I call him President Loki too. Yeah. Um, this is a re- uh, reference to Vote Loki comic from 2016 that featured Loki, Loki attempting to take the White House. Pizza delivery car, uh, Green uh, Wid. So G R N W one D license plate. The pizza delivery car Owen Wilson Mobius drives bears the license plate G R N W one D. This is a tribute to Marvel Comics legend Mark Grunewald, who, who not only worked on concepts and characters used in the show, mm. the TVA, um, Eliath, 
but whose likeness was used as inspiration for the look of Mobius in the comics and his much as uh, continuance was carried over to the show. USS Eldridge. There's more to the sudden appearance of the USS Eldridge than a fun and horrifying action sequence. The U.S. Navy warship is tied to a conspiracy theory involving a government cover-up in alien and aliens. In a story that has since become an urge legend known as the Philadelphia Experiment, I, I can't believe I was right about this, Alex. My, I told my wife this. I was like, the USS Eldridge, isn't that the weird teleporting spaceship that, or not spaceship, ship that, I can't believe I was right. I cannot believe I took that out of the depths of my mind and was able to remember that. Uh, a man named Carlos Miguel Allend alleged that the USS El Eldridge was transported to another dimension and its crew was killed by vicious aliens. So you can see where the Loki writers picked the ball up and ran it with. Oswald and the Martians. By the way, we're still going. There's so many. Oh, An old movie theater sign lists a film called Oswald and the Martians. Those familiar with Disney Company history will remember Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I know that from the... Uh, yep. The video game. Mm. Uh, the character who predated Mickey Mouse and very well could have become the face of Disney had Universal not claimed the character in a legal dispute. It seems in the ultimate prune timeline for which this site came from, Oswald went on to be the face of Disney and Mickey Mouse was presumably never created. The title Oswald and the Martians refers to a real life cartoon called Mars where Oswald traveled to the Red Planet and met aliens. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Loki's sword. So the short sword kid Loki summons and gives to Loki has significance in Marvel Comics, Lower and Norse. The weapon, oh my god. Leviathan, I assume, was used by Loki in Mor Norse mythology. In its Marvel Comics version, Leviathan can be magically summoned by Loki at will. Um, Chronopolis, a uh, mysterious building seen at the end, may well be Chronopolis. This is, of course, before the show uh, that we knew is Chronopolis, but that is where Kang lives. That is all the Easter eggs in episode five. I had a mouthful, but I love talking about that stuff. I did forget about the Thanos cop there. I was like, why is that? I was like, is that a, is that like Thanos one? Or something? I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. That makes, that, that is way better than what I thought it was. That's hilarious. Uh, where did we leave off, Alex? Um, we should be at, yeah, Loki variants meet up in the, uh, I guess, bomb shelter, what you call that, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have nice dialogue. They're just kicking back, talking, <laughs> having yeah, talking about each stories. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, and then we get <laughs> vote Loki, and then you have a bunch of little Lokis. It looks like a, I don't There's know if that was supposed to be Attila the Hun, like Loki mm. or something, but we had a bunch of different Lokis. Um, so Mjolnir Loki is what I'll call him. Uh, yeah. Betrays everyone, but then the Loki president betrays Mjolnir Loki but then all of the other Lokis with with President Body Loki fighting each other. then betray him so we have like a quadruple betrayal happening and they all just start fighting each other uh, yes. and in the middle of this you know Kid Loki and all of them are fighting and eventually they're like just let's get out of here and then they just leave um, yep. uh, which is really fun it, 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 was a, it was a nice thing where it's like it's obvious that um can never trust Loki. <laughs> that and it's obvious that our Loki is past this. Yeah. Whereas all of these Lokis have not had the development that ours has. Mm -hmm. It's clear that ours is different now. He's not yeah. this Loki where he's like, you know, ha! Ah, double, I've double crossed you. Backstab, backstab. You know, yeah. he's different now. Uh, which is nice. It's nice as a refresher. Like, yeah, this is how he used to be. He used to be this vote Loki. He used to be like. Mew near Loki, where like he's just looking to backstab somebody, mm -hmm. and then we get the awesome scene with uh, how they handled the Eliath. What do you think of that? Oh, dude, that was crazy. Loved it. I probably I I, I love where he just like fucking brings up. Oh, he's so up. cool. He's, they made they made it look so. Richard Grant real. is such an amazing actor. What was he in? I know Richard you know Grant? stuff like yeah yeah is. You, um, I know him from little things. Like he was, I don't know if you ever seen the movie. It's an old Disney movie. It's called the uh, The Little Vampire. No, he was the dad. Uh, okay. He's also been. Uh, let me see. I, I heard time. everyone like, "Oh my god, that's Richard Grant!" Like I was like, "Yeah, Damn, I wish Grant I knew who this guy was." Richard, but he looked, yeah, he looks awesome. 
Here, let's see. Let's see if something you would know. He was in Sears Unfortunate Events. Let's see. Game of Thrones. Oh, maybe I know him from that. Uh, it says he, it says he was Eisenbaro. I don't know what that is. I don't, know who that, I don't remember who that is. It's fine. It's fine. But, uh, but yeah, when, when he's making that thing, and he just, he just goes, glorious purpose. Oh, mm-hmm. so cool. And then he gets eaten. He was so cool, though. I, I love it. And, and I love that they gave him... I, like, that's such a great idea to put him in the classic suit, and he looks so nerdy. He just looks like a bunch of, like, crappy Hollywood, uh, ha- Halloween-like city outfit. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, I love that they gave him the classic, like, the, 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 the suit. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't really talk about Alligator Loki. I, I, a lot of people are like, there's more to him. And I was like, I think he's just a fun joke. I, no, and, no, and I, I like it's that he cool, bit off like, President Loki's yeah. hand. That was really funny. Oh yeah, I thought I thought of it as a he's like a Peter Pan type thing. Like the croc bit his hand. Like uh, uh, President Loki is kind of like Captain Hook, and he kind of mm-hmm. like, bit his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was like, man, I think they just want to weird. I mean, because because they they because because they're like talking to him and stuff, which I loved. They're like mm-hmm. like giving him like options and things. It was really fun. Episode six. He wasn't he was oh, in an old oh, Dracula movie, by the way. I'm sorry. Which one? Uh, in 1992, he played Doctor Jack Seward. Probably know that. It was in the night. It was a 90s one. Maybe, I probably watched. It. Treasure, Island, Legends of Treasure Island. He's been in so much stuff, dude. Michael Waldron and Eric Martin, for all time, always. Renslayer leaves on a mission to find quote free will end quote again whatever that means. After Miss mm-hmm. Minute gives her information from the TVA's creator. We do not know who, what it was. She asks for... Her original ask was everything before the TV... Or before the timekeepers were created, I think? Or before the timeline was created? I don't remember her specific ask. But she, she asked for that information. And Miss Minute goes, <clears throat> we, f- we figured you'd want this more. And what, we don't know what she was given. But whatever it was, she was like, all right, this, this is... I can deal with this. Uh, so he, whatever, whatever he did, it, it seemed to spark something. Um, B-15 proves the TVA troopers that variants by showing them a, a Renslayer variant who is a school vice principal. Meanwhile, in the Citadel, at the end of time, he who remains tells Loki and Sylvie that he ended a multiversal war between his variants by using Eliath to destroy alternate timelines. I have to stop here. This as soon as soon as we see mm-hmm. he who mm-hmm. remains, mm-hmm. the show stops, and it is now his show. Oh yeah, he is demanding the screen. Every time he talks, I'm like enthralled. I have mm-hmm. no idea who this guy is. I'm not a big actor, dude. But his as is, soon uh, as, like Matt his Daniel performance. Something. It's been a long time since I've been enthralled with a guy mm. that is just sitting there acting his ass off and is doing incredible. I was mesmerized. I was just watching this like, this is awesome. Like, he's, he's, he's so cool. Like, the way he's talking to Loki, the way he's acting, his mannerisms, the way he's describing events when he's showing them on his uh, little wrist computer thing. He's like, yeah, you know, we, I, I, you know, I, I'm a scientist from the 31st century. Mm-hmm. I figure out a way of talking to other versions of myself. And then we keep finding people and we eventually find people who aren't nice like I am. And then it's, and then we get a giant war with each other. Then he finds a lieth. Then he uses them to eat everyone. Then he establishes this TVA thing. Alex. Am I the? I mean, I was. No, I was he's enthralled. Yeah. What, what did you think? No, yeah. The once they showed him, I was like, God, who is he supposed to be? Because I, I wasn't familiar with King the Conqueror. I know yeah. the name, but I didn't like recognize it. I, I looked over my wife. We're like, they're <clears> not <throat> gonna do King the. Con- I, I literally was like, there, there's no way they're about to do King the Conqueror. Can't, we're getting into MCU stuff where I, I, I'm like, I can't believe they're doing this stuff. Like, the, mm. King the Conqueror is a weird dude. And his yeah. whole storyline is kind of weird, but it's fun. And I'm curious to see what they'll do with it. Uh, but I was shocked when I was like, wow, they're actually doing this. This is awesome. Mm. <laughs> this is so cool. 
Uh, but uh, but go ahead. Um, uh, what, what else do you want to tell me? But you know, when they showed him, I was like, oh god, who is this guy? And I'm like, uh, once he started talking, Soviet tried to attack him, and he completely like 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 teleported. He knows or exactly what's happening. Yeah. yeah, and then he told it tells he tells him to sit and starts explaining everything. Yep. That's where I was like, I had I was like paying attention. And I'm like, okay, what's happening? Then he starts talking about the multiversal war. Multiple, uh, multiple hymns. And then he tell, and as soon as that ends, he goes, uh, uh, as he's grown, uh, re- uh, which I love. He's like, I know, I know, I don't look like it, but uh, I'm old. And I, mm-hmm. and I was like, he's been doing. I think he mentions at some point he's been doing this for eons. Yeah, no, he is eons. Yeah, eons, eons. That is, in an oh my god, just saying by himself. By the way, he, maybe he has Miss Minute to talk to. Maybe I don't know. But by himself, I think he, I think he created Miss Minutes. I assume so, yeah. But yeah. like, but basically, he's by himself this whole time. Yeah. Uh, he offers them a choice: kill him and risk another multiversal war, or replace him in overseeing the TVA in a singular timeline. Sylvie wants to kill him, but Loki pleads with her to stop. They kiss, but Sylvie sends Loki back to TVA headquarters. She then kills he who remains, unleashing a multiverse with alternate timelines that the TVA cannot prune. At TVA headquarters, Loki warns Mobius and B-15 about he who remains variants, but they do not recognize Loki. And he sees that a statue of one of the variants has replaced those of the timekeeper. End of the show. That part was crazy to me, too. Cause Before we no- get into that. Mm. What do you think of the options? Because I want to end... I have so many questions with the ending. So I want to end with my questions about the ending. Okay. Before we get into that. What do you think of the options? And what do you think about Loki specifically being like, we can't kill him. We cannot kill this guy. <sighs> hmm. I, I don't feel like they should have killed him. But I like that option better. Oh yeah, I mean story wise, yeah, I do too. Well, yeah. Um, but uh, I don't. But, on it, but I'm saying no. I, I feel like the other option of them being it's like, oh, you could take over. I feel like that was fake. It was. I don't feel like that would have. I don't feel like that would have happened. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a little weird. He's like, oh, you take over, and you can tell <laughs> everyone. And I'm like, so like, are you, so I guess if they have that little wristwatch, they have like his complete power. That doesn't seem, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe because he, yeah, then, like, then t- if you tell everybody it's still, it's not safe. The sacred timeline is not, it, everybody knows now. So like, what's the point? So I, I th- don't know. I, well, I think they would, his, his motivation is like still prune stuff. Still, still keep it. Cu- Cause what is the, the whole reason he's stopping the, the diversion timelines is so more of him doesn't show up mm-hmm. to start a war again. So I assume that was the intent. Um, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, uh, I I very much love them kissing. I, mm-hmm. I know this is a weird. Oh no, I, I kind of thing, but I love it. Well, no, it's it's not. It's more of narcissist because it's himself. It's not. Yeah. It's not incest know, because I'm it's I'm still. Being, it's only I'm himself. Joking. But well, um, it's funny because Loki is gonna. It likes Loki, and it's funny because the new Thor movie, Jane is gonna be Thor. So Thor likes Thor. If you think about it. <laughs> So but now made you, a funny meme where it's like Loki kisses Loki like Thor kisses Thor, and it was and it was them kissing, now, and and it was like Thor kissing Jane. Now, do you think because this whole thing, do you think that Jane Foster is going to be from a different multiverse becoming Thor? <sighs> it's not going to be the let's Jane. Let's go the, ahead. The, let's the go Jane ahead. And, we know. Let's go ahead and get into it <clears throat> because we basically covered what I wanted to cover. Mm-hmm. So let so the now, the rest of this is let's talk about this ending. Okay. It's very unclear how this goes down. Mm-hmm. All we know right now is at some point in the MCU, post Thanos, yep, we have a diverging timeline. Yep. So between Endgame and Spider Man, uh, was it his, Far not, from Home? Far from Home. Not Far from Home. I'm for no. No, you talking about the one that's the one, the one no, that's coming no, no, out, or the not last the one? not the one coming out. Far oh, from the, home. Bat, the, last, the reason okay. I'm bringing it up is that is the furthest in the timeline we've been in in the timeline of the MCU. 
like in their yeah. time. That's the furthest yeah. we've been. So now the question is, where is Loki and when does this divergent timeline start happening? Does that affect anything? People are bringing up the fact that if you play WandaVision... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm good now. When you play WandaVision, and I, I don't think this is anything, but maybe it is. If you play WandaVision, and you play this at the exact same time, the moment Wanda becomes Scarlet Witch uh -huh. is the exact moment um, he who remains picks the pen up, drops it, and goes, this is the moment. I don't know what happens past this. So maybe that means something. Maybe everything post Scarlet Witch has multiverse what science what you know active multiverse active meaning spider-man far from home makes a little more sense why they would believe mysterio was from a different multiverse because mm -hmm. maybe they've been told that already i know it's getting a little weird <laughs> Do you hear well, what I'm saying? Am I? No, no, it's for a little sure. confusing. This is why I wanted to talk, and mainly this is why I want to do this podcast because I want to talk about this. It, the weird thing about this is, technically, all time is fucked up. So we're getting mm -hmm. a bunch of universes, right? So will this? How, what, what does this affect? It does this affect the Thor movie? I assume so. Maybe this will be a, a second Jane Foster coming out. That'd be weird, but maybe it will. Who knows? I it's so hard because now we're not getting the Doctor Strange multiverse movie till two years is it? Uh, that sounds about twenty twenty three. Spider Man. We're getting we're getting December. Spider Man in December. Then we're getting Ant Man Wasp Quantumania. Then we're getting Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. Which is madness or multiverse of madness or madness multiverse? What the hell is it called? Yes, Multiverse of Madness. So meaning, that movie, apparently shit's going to be already happening, crazy going on. I think we, I think we, yeah, I, I, I think. Mm. All right, this is when we get spoilery into a movie that's not out yet. So do we want to do that? I mean. About the Spider-Man movie. Do you want to talk about that? I you just go for it. Okay, ever, listener, um, I don't uh, it's light spoilers for Spider-Man. It's nothing crazy, and I'm sure the trailer is going to <clears> spoil <throat> what I'm about to say. So do not think I'm saying some crazy shit. We know Doctor Strange is in Spider-Man. Yeah, we know that for sure. We know, so, we know Doctor Strange. We know Alfred Molina from Sam Sam yes. Raimi's Spider-Man is in it. Yeah. We know them two were for, for sure. They're were guaranteed. For the movie. And wasn't Jamie Foxx Electro was guaranteed as well? I'm pretty sure he is too. I'm pretty yeah, sure we know from, for a fact he's And he is from the Amazing Spider, Andrew Garfield ones. I so think that's it all is three. clear mm -hmm. that we're doing a multiverse shit in Spider-Man. I think it's oh, obvious. For sure already. I think yeah. it's obvious. I think it's obvious we're having three Spider-Man in a single movie and mm -hmm. we're going to have one of each villain. Doctor Strange is going to be involved probably explaining why the fuck all this is happening. Mm -hmm. I think for sure we're getting. Honestly, this is. I feel like this is how they'll probably do Sinister Six. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. I, I have no idea. I mean, maybe. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't even know if they want to make. I don't know. Uh, but I brought this I up really they... quick to um to uh, bring up. So we're getting Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, September third. We're getting Eternals, November fifth. Spider Man which No is... Way Home. Sorry, which is no, apparently. If you watch the trailers in Eternals, they said uh, they 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 didn't keep, they didn't make themselves known until now. Correct. So I'm wondering if because mm. they maybe so I'm wondering if because of the sacred because timeline of, breakage, yeah. they have to step in. They have to be like, oh fuck, like this this yeah. is about to get fucked up. Yeah, because if that's what they say in the getting, timeline. What's their names? Oh oh hmm. uh oh damn it. In, it 
what the Eternals? Yeah, the Eternals. What uh, Celestials? We know we're getting Celestials. Yeah. Those are yeah. Those are like mega. They're not. I, I think those they're not are villains, above. but they, but they, like entities. Are, they're mega entities. So maybe the, the timeline messing up activates them in some way, and, the, and then the mm-hmm. Eternals have. Yeah, there's so much. Ah, there's so much shit they could do with this. Um, mm-hmm. Spider Man No Way from uh, No Way Home, December seventeenth. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, March twenty fifth. Thor: Love and okay. Thunder, May sixth. Black Panther, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, July eighth. The Marvels, uh, November eleventh. Mm-hmm. Uh, of of course, next year. This is all next year. Sorry, I didn't preface. Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumanium, February seventeenth, twenty twenty three. Guardians of the Galaxy we're... Volume Three, May fifth, twenty twenty three. And then Fast, Fantastic Four is TBA. Well, which is crazy because they, they said that Kang is going to be in the Ant-Man Quantumania. So does that mean we're not yeah. going to see him until then? Yeah, until then. That's Which is crazy because the, the one that we saw is supposed to be, uh, I think his name is Immortus or at least similar to Immortus, which is the He's most similar powerful. similar to him. He, we don't yeah. know. We don't technically know what version of him he is. They just. I well, think the people who made he, this, they said that he's the most. He's most similar to Immortus. Is yeah, what they said. Yeah, he is not Kang the Conqueror. Kang yeah, the no. Conqueror will fucking is, conquer all of you. So like he's well, not. Kang the Conqueror is the most evil one. I think. Yeah, he's the one that travels in time to conquer, like yeah. shit. Like he loves. Th- he goes to different universes and conquers them. That's his thing. Yeah, my um, thing is this one was the most, the most powerful, but he was the less evil. He was the least is, evil, probably out of all of them. But and that was still fucked up off the shit he did. Yeah, that's what he was saying. That was part of his point. He's like, if you think I'm evil, wait till you meet yeah. the other ones. Like that was yeah. the that was one of the most chilling things he said in the movie. Movie, yeah. fuck the show, where he goes, if you think what I do is bad, just hey, wait till you see what they do. And I'm like, oh my god, this and is just crazy terrifying. See when, like, once Sylvie stabs him, she was like, he was like, I'll see I'll you see soon. See you soon. And so I was does like, that mean? I, my I had thing chills, is, bro. I was like, "Oh my god, this is well, gross." Ah. My th- my thing is, it. I'll see you soon. As he, as, do you think all the kings are connected? So no, he, he made a metaphorical. No? See you okay, soon. Okay, because he was he. Mm. His point was, I'm. I'll see you I'm not this, fighting this. One. Either you yeah. kill me or you take my place. I'm not. I'm done with this shit. Uh. Mm-hmm. So the see you soon was like. I'm not, I wasn't lying. Like he, like he, when he, uh, which is, I think the most powerful uh, of the entire uh, exchange between them where mm-hmm. he, he just goes like, even in it, even when he's dying, you know, he's not lying. He, he goes, I, I, see you soon. Like I'm, I wasn't lying to you. They're going to come and fuck you up. So, which is crazy. Cause now she is there still. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. We see at the end of the show a statue of He Who Remains. Mm-hmm. Maybe one of his variants. Who knows? Is that He Who Remains a variant or Sylvie in Disguise? I think it's Sylvie in Disguise. Mm. What do you think? Now, it I, gets, think she gets, I think she's captured. It gets weird... Because Sylvie pushes him out after the kiss. Mm-hmm. He's. It, it, it's, this is so weird. Assumably in the same TVA. We don't know. Which is weird because we think it is because they're, it, this, it, Morbius and B-15 are still freaking out about everything. They're still doing the same shit. They said he was an analyst. So this has to be something different something different has to happen Mm -hmm. so maybe when she pushed him out she either teleported him in an incorrect time or i think it's the simple fact of killing him already changed everything well no for sure i already killed him i think as soon as she pushed him he's he is in our an already different time universe yeah I, yeah i think so too yeah, he's not in the same time, and he was, which is weird because the TVA was not even Separate. in a timeline. Yeah, it, so it, now it yeah. is. That was that's that's the thing. That's the fucking that's the thing where I'm like, 
because this I thought was, it was supposed to be everything. separated from everything. So this can't be another TVA. <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. That breaks too many rules. It gets way too mm -hmm. confusing. Hopefully that's not what it is. Because if it is, I don't like that. <laughs> that's way too fucking confusing. If there's multiple TVAs, so I don't think that's what it is. And then unless they lied, unless they lied, unless they lied about where they were, and they weren't separate from the timeline they were the sacred timeline maybe, they, maybe instead of being they they, they were like they have they were had they have to secure the sacred timeline and as a separate entity but they're not they are the sacred they're timeline in it. some like for they're whatever reason it. they have to now be, that like, it's broken to it. now it's now all they're fucked up yeah i wonder if they're gonna do a thing where like mm. the the reason they were stationary in time was because of the sacred timeline yeah. So now that it's broken, everything inside of it's fucked up. Like maybe there's whole wings where it's like constantly changing time or something. I don't know. They, it's weird because Morbius was like, "Which one are you?" So they've seen multiple wait, Loki's what? already. Yeah. If you go back and and more and Moby and and Loki's like was like uh tried talking to him, and he was like, "Wait, which one are you?" Or I either I feel like he either said because I I, don't I remember know he, he said, said "Who are you?" Aren't you or, an analyst? And see, I, I thought he said, I thought he said, which one are you? But I'm not sure. Did he? I have to see. Fuck. I, I, I'll, I'll check that. I'll check that. If you want, you can check that real quick. And I'll fill okay. the fill time. Yeah. The, the, the this is, the, see this, the, that ending, fuck, that ending fucked me up so bad. I was talking to me and my wife have been talking about it for so long, trying to spitball like what is going on. Cause the the whole backbreaker is them not knowing who Loki is. That is the whole thing where I'm like, what does that mean? I and maybe as soon as they they cross that threshold that he didn't know about, maybe that's something that fucked everything up. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um just because we we named all the movies, so I'm gonna go ahead and name all the Disney Plus series as well. Well, Alex, uh, I'm looking at the scene. Yeah, yeah. Alex will check that scene out. Uh, so starting, um, we, uh, I'm skipping everything that's already out. Uh, what if starts August 11th? Hawkeye starts late 2021. Miss Marvel starts late 2021. Moon Knight is 2022. She Hulk 2022. Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Edition is late 2022. Secret Invasion is 2022. Ironheart. Armor Wars and the Untitled Wakanda series is all TBA. Damn. So he asked him, he was like, you're an analyst, right? What division are you from? And he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, who are you? What's your name? So yes. I, I'm wondering. So, so he has he no not, idea he's, who he he's is. He's never met Loki. Yeah. He but has how does no he know? So how does he know he's an analyst? Maybe with what he's wearing or... If you want to get even weirder, maybe Loki, maybe there's a variant of Loki there. I don't know, I don't man. Know. It it's getting he, fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know. Loki is just, he's asking him who who uh, who are you? Yeah, who are you? That's what he says. He's like, who are you? Are you, you aren't you an analyst? Or you know, he says like, are you an analyst? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then there shows the king, the conqueror statue. And then statue. you look and he sees the variant. So, but, it, it, but my, king, I believe my wife is wearing the traditional out king, the conqueror outfit. Yep, he is. I believe my wife's thought was Kang already won. He's the variant has already fought and he's mm -hmm. now ruling uh, TVA. Um, it's know. weird because they gave me a lot of. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched it, and some people are gonna hate it. But uh, the Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, a hundred percent. The Matt, yeah. the, the Mark Wahlberg one. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, At 20... the end, when he goes. When was this? Two thousand eight or some shit like that. That's too soon, I think. But I think it was the early two thousands, late nineties, something like that. Um, when uh, when he walks out he and sees back the into, yeah, he goes he goes back into Earth, Lincoln Le Le Memorial, and yep, sees and the yeah. fucking monkey, and the monkey cops come out. Yep. I I, I told I told my wife that too. I told her, I was yeah, like, this is just like the Planet of the Apes. I, I don't remember if she knew, mm -hmm. if she knew the the scene, but I was like, yeah, he comes back, thinks everything's fixed, and he sees mm -hmm. like a monkey. And mm -hmm. he looks behind him, and he's at the Washington Monument, but it's a monkey. Uh, sorry, mm, it's, a Lincoln uh, Monument, and sees a 2001. monkey. Two thousand one. Okay, I was, I was, yes. I was right. Um, you said two thousand eight. I changed it to early two thousand. Uh, okay, okay. I caught it. But yeah, Anyways. and it's crazy because there is going to be a season two. Yes, 
Yes, this is the but only the, series we know of that is getting a season two so far. But the director said she's not returning. Very worrisome. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that, Alex. Why? Why is she not returning? Disney, you have... Plenty of money to get this lady back. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Why are you letting talent walk out of your studio? Go get her back to direct this fucking this show. She and she even said she didn't want to do it too, which is even sad. Um, she 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 didn't say it directly, but she was like, I you know I want to focus on my stuff. Um, and I was like, don't say that, <laughs> don't say that. If they. They're going to make a season two. We need you back. So sad. Mm -hmm. Alex, uh, that's the show. I feel like I need to go smoke a cigarette, but I don't smoke. So I guess I'll go, I don't know, eat some pulled pork. Thank you, by the way, for the pulled pork. No problem. Um, Alex and his wife gifted me some pulled pork. and It's delicious. I ate like two sandwiches already. It's amazing. Thank you so much for listening. This has been a fun spoiler cast. We try to do these as often as we can. Um, there's no like set rigmarole or set time frame of when we do these. This went way longer than I uh, thought it would. So uh, apologies, Alex, but it looked like you had fun. So yeah, no, I and I also did find something on Sylvie, aka Lady Loki, whatever. Too give it to me. So it's it's a little long, but I think that the achievers don't mind. No, I don't think so either. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see, Loki's spoiler. Yeah, e episode three gave us an insight into the past and mind of Loki variant, all okay. as we all know and love. But it left a lot of questions about Sylvie, aka the other Loki. Uh, so who is she? Is she Loki? Is she Sylvie? So, like, who is Sylvie? Sylvie's full name is Sylvie Lushton. She's a normal teenage girl from Broxton, Oklahoma. Who, Oklahoma? Is that no? It was Ohio. The teacher, right? The Raven Slayer, whatever her name is. Yeah, that was Ohio, right? Okay. For a second, I thought it was the same place. I was like, Let me Whoa. go check. Okay, but it was Broxton, Oklahoma, who wakes up one morning to discover that she had magical powers. What are her powers? Sylvie can uh, use sorcery and tele telekinesis. She can manipulate minds, fly, teleport, create force fields, deflect other people's spells, project energy. When she wakes up with these powers, she decides to go and become an Avenger and takes on the name Enchantress after Amora the Enchantress. Yep. She also sometimes speaks with a fake Asgardian accent. She has no formal training, so everything she does is through the sheer willpower, which makes her an incredible, uh, incredible, incredible powerful fighter. In the comics, she's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Doctor Strange and Wiccan and held her own, if not won, against them in battle. It is, she um, is a principal in Ohio. Ohio, got it. Thank her you. Her name so, is uh, Rebecca Torminit. Interesting. She, uh, interesting. How did she get her powers? Loki gave her her powers because she liked the idea of creating a mortal who suspects she is one of my kind. It is currently unclear if there is a larger reason for Sylvie's creation. It is also unclear as to whether Loki created Sylvie the person or just Sylvie's powers. And it tells us what comic she came and stuff. But so Sylvie did get her powers from Loki. Interesting. Or creator. But that was interesting, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can use some of that stuff <clears> to <throat> kind of piece together what might happen with Sylvie, too. Um, mm -hmm. I also loved her thing, where she, she was just a kid, and mm -hmm. she was just going to kill a kid. That was kind of fucked up. And it really showed the TVA's like, Ugh, I mean, you're doing your job, I guess, but that's a child. And yep. she, you're, you're killing her because she's a girl? I think that was the reason. Wasn't it? There's no. There was a different reason. What was the uh, reason? Here. Do you remember? I actually. Re I, as soon as I said that, I was like, "That's not the real reason." To. What was it? Uh, it was supposed to be something she was doing. She was doing something good, and she wasn't supposed. That's to, right. Yeah, she was good. Thing. That was the reason. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, she, the, like she was doing a good thing. They were like, "You don't do that. We're gonna kill you now." <laughs> <laughs> Prune, um, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they're killing them. Let's see. Uh, take it by the TV. Let's see, so I can see. Maybe it'll tell me. Um, uh, backstory. Presentation. Remember, so Achievers, you can always go to patreoncom slash Achievers. You can support us financially there. Remember, there's plenty of tiers. Literally, only a dollar a month, you'll be <laughs> able to DM us any question, comment, concern, thought, and our idea. We read it on the show every single Friday on our regularly scheduled programming called the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Also. 
you're on a YouTube or podcast service of your choice right now, you can give us a five-star review. That helps us quite a bit. You can also subscribe, like, share with a friend. Remember, comments help the algorithm. Help us out, please. It only takes a second half of your day. We really appreciate it. If you've made it this far into the video, first off, thank you. Second off, you're a, you're a real achiever. I appreciate it. And literally, any way you consume our media, whether you pay, whether you just watch us freely, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's... I'm trying to, uh, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Well, it just tells that... you what's happening, and like it's not really explaining. It's all good. We're running long in the two, so we should, we should wrap yeah. up anyways. This has been a fun show. Alex, we didn't do, we didn't do it before, but I, I, want, I want your rankings. The Disney Plus shows you've watched so far, what are your rankings? I've been thinking about it. Loki, WandaVision, Captain America, and the uh, Winter Soldier. Mm. Those are my rankings. Hmm. It's hard between Captain America, Winter Soldier, and uh, in WandaVision. Uh, yeah, Just I actually might because... retract that. It's 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 a shame because I loved the first, uh, the <clears throat> last episode of WandaVision. I didn't love. Yeah, it's just because the way they ended with certain things. Yeah, like, it's a CGI really? fucking. And see, I didn't toys even care for that. Each other and stuff. I see. I didn't even care for that. I didn't even notice that at all. I, I it's just the story wise, like with the chick, like uh, um, Agatha. Agatha, thank you. Uh, with Agatha, like they, uh, she uh, made her uh, think like she was like, oh, this person in the thing, but then they get rid of the. The whole, unless she just, it's just only her that's mind wiped. Because I forget what, I, I, wasn't it, it's like, it, uh, she uh, changed the way she think because it, as as they did, they were in the force field. I forget what it was called. I'm, hold on, I'm trying to get my words out, right? Are you talking about the field that Wanda put up? Yeah, like, they changed them? It? Yeah, she, didn't she do that to her afterwards, but it was only, uh, but like after she got rid of the force field, how does she, how how does Agatha not think that she's a Agatha like, was at her, no point under any under her spell. Not Is even that, after. So like yeah yeah because after uh, I see what you're uh, saying. So you're yeah, talking Wanda, about at the end of the show after she gets captured, right? And then she yeah, says she you're going to be a good neighbor. You're going to be this yeah you're going to be a good neighbor. So she how did she control that? Did she just because she's snap? now a Scarlet Witch. Because she always mm. rejected her right. magic. Pa- I know, I get it. Yeah, that's it's why a it's confusing. Stu- it's a little. St- it's a little. It, yeah. It's very much. It's very much. We're gonna see you later. <laughs> like like it's very clearly like we can't yeah. kill you because we want you back. So stay here. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. And then and then White Vision just leaves. Like they're yeah. Like, that's clearly like, the, another setup what the, thing. What was the point at ever bringing him? They're not gonna bring him back. Oh, you're fucking high they're they're you bringing think? that man back yeah oh yeah so you think do you think he's gonna be do you think he's gonna come back and because he has all the memories do you think he's gonna come back as the vision that we all know and love no i i think he's too fucked up i think he's gonna i'll be honest I'd be, it'd be awesome if he tries to make like a family or something like uh like in that vision comic that one division is inspired by it, mm. it, he won't but it i mean now that we and then we need Unfor- uh, unfortunately the kids every- I mean, the kids are supposed to be uh, supposed to be real, apparently. So, because at the end, remember the the, okay, the he was, they're Before, astral projecting. So, <laughs> yeah, we hear them talking and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So this is another thing. Oh wait, that might trigger it. Maybe she takes them from a different universe. That triggers multiverse of madness. She opens a portal and takes her kids out. Maybe. Fuck, man, this is. Oh my god, this is so. They run so deep, and it, I don't know. And and now it makes it, sense for uh, Richard Boner. It, was that his name? Who? Uh, uh, speed, speed guy, Flash. What's his oh, name? Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Thank you. I'm. It's. I've been going on for too long. Quicksilver. Yeah. Richard. Uh, his last name was Boner. He yeah, about whatever. It. He's, he's from a different multiverse. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't. Well, I mean, we don't. Oh no, we, we, we not. Well, ne- no, he's not. He's, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. No, he's he's not. But like, 
does it did ag but it, how can't, did, it but it can't it can now it can, it can be now. now because loki fucked everything up so maybe he is quicksilver and he's messed up for something i don't know mm -hmm. and also if you remember in the beginning beginning of that show the fbi agent says there's someone in witness protection richard boner seems like a fake ass name that's probably a guy in witness protection why is he in witness protection maybe because he's not real maybe he's not from this universe it so alex this Keeps getting deeper. We're gonna be here forever. We have to go. Yeah, we gotta go. We love you all so much. This is so much fun. We have to do more Marvel content. We, this is too good of content for us not to do. So, apologies, we never did WandaVision. We wanted to trust us, but life gets in the way. Maybe one day we'll do it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. our my ranking is Loki, WandaVision. Mm, fuck. But Captain America was so cool. Nope, sticking with it. WandaVision, Captain America. Yeah, I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Yeah, WandaVision second, Captain America third. Yep. That is everything. Yep, that's everything. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, all the good stuff. I said it to you earlier, so if you heard it at that time, you would hear it this time. We love you. Remember, I've been burdened by glorious purpose. Go achieve. Go achieve.